force this kid to take the final. Fine, he'll take it. So this happened years ago when I was in high school, but I smile every time I think of it. My high school had a policy that anyone who has missed less than a certain number of school days could pick one class they had an A in to skip the final. You could get a couple extra days for college visits, but otherwise it was very straightforward. Awesome policy, and we all loved it. One year, we had this kid who was in 8th grade and had been diagnosed with cancer. He spent a lot of his year sick, getting treatment, going to the hospital, running to the bathroom to throw up, etc. Despite all this he finished the year with an A in his Spanish class. It was his only high school class, so it was the only final he would have been able to skip. Administration was not going to let him skip the final because he had missed too much school. He and his parents asked them to make an exception, given the situation, but administration wouldn't budge. His teacher stood up for him, but was told this kid had to take the final no matter what what. He had missed too many days and there would be no exception. The teacher said okay, but told her class not to study for, worry about, or exempt her final. Then, the first day all her students showed up for the final she told them to take out a piece of paper and number it 1 to 3 leaving one line in between each number. She then asked three questions along the lines of, what is your name? How do you say yes in Spanish? And how do you say hello in Spanish? Then she collected the final. Everyone got an 100 that year, and she became a legend. The kid has been cancer-free for over 5 years now. Something similar happened to my best friend. She had cancer in high school and she did all the work from the hospital, but they still had the audacity to try and hold her back because of missed days. It's seriously some butternut. She's still alive in case anyone was wondering. I understand giving the option, but forcing a student to be held back when they have the aptitude is ridiculous and very telling in how much they care. Awesome teacher. The best teachers are the ones that do it for the kids and not for the administration or the paycheck. I don't wanna go as a par ENT with this comment, but I'll just say a good teacher is worth their weight in gold. I was taking culinary classes, and the administration at the community college said that every class needed a final. This made sense for the lecture classes, but how are you going to give finals for a lab class? One of my instructors took it literally, he was the head of the program, and his lab class was the first lab class you took, and we had both an oral and written final in his class. God, that oral final. I could not remember the name for a slotted spoon. Oh well. One instructor took it to mean show me what you learned but that was baking class, so it was easy to show what we'd learned by baking a cake. The other lab classes I took, one of the tests was 10 questions, and our instructor had submitted our grades before we even took the final. It had questions like what size is a quarter inch dice, and when are high heels appropriate kitchen shoes, and how many refrigerators are in our kitchen, and it was multiple choice. Another of the tests was 15 questions, and had questions like what color is the sky, and in which direction is the Pacific Ocean? things that had absolutely nothing to do with cooking. Not only that, but he wrote the points each item was worth on the test. Up where it said name it said, 15 points. All the other questions were 1 point each. Even if you got them all wrong, so long as you put your name on it you got a B. 1, 2, 3. I have an interesting story as well. I got very sick the first year of high school right before finals. I missed all of my finals and had to make them up in the summer to complete the year. All in all I did fine except for one, Algebra 2, because the teacher said she would let us use our notes for final so I did not study. I showed up with my notes and they refused to let me use them even after seeing a note from the teacher. I started the test and in the middle I wrote in huge text. They didn't let me use my notes and I didn't study because I was sick. I did not complete the rest of the test, I probably did 50% max. I received my grades back and got an A on it. Best teacher ever. Just had subtitles. Having actually done video transcription for a few years now, I was always outright told not to translate or even transcribe, even if I knew what they were saying. Which always seemed silly to me, because it applied to even common foreign phrases, but whatever, they were paying me. So for something like this, I just put speaking Chinese. That said, what happened here is next level pettiness, and it's beautiful. Plot twist that's the actual dialogue. 
I remember when Homeland was filming the scene in Pakistan they had people do some Arabic graffiti on the walls, no one in Pakistan speaks Arabic. Only to later did a viewer notice that the graffiti in the background says Homeland is racist. Closed captioner, what should I put down here? Editor, something in Chinese. Dot. Closed captioner, yeah, but what? Editor, I don't know what, I'm just the editor. Slash r slash not my job. Asked my husband to put the pillowcases on the pillows. Your husband is a graduate of the philosophy that if you do a job too well, it's yours forever. I hate your husband at work. You should just put your pillow in the pillowcase. Let him fend for himself. There would forever be a pillow with no pillowcase. Okay wise ass, put the pillows inside the pillowcases. Dot. Comes back to find pillows sandwiched between the pillowcases.